Yeah, this is the testimony of our conscience That in holiness and godly sincerity Not in fleshly wisdom Have we been above reproach Especially towards you Second Corinthians, baby Here we go this is my heart upon a letter I had a burden since the last time we were together The God of comfort will comfort me I comfort others Our suffering shouldn't keep us from loving on our brothers We had a sentence of death within ourselves But God gave comforting grace and gave an escape Our physical affliction is that of Christ's glory It's for us to relate and share in faith Have not my conduct with you been above reproach And those who question my heart, they're pretty much a joke Reaffirm your love through unconditional acts Be forgiven and restore the sin and man back to those in Christ we are the aroma of life but the aroma of death to the perishing type okay do we need you to commend our works no we don't have we not been there to heal your hurts yes, we our recommendations that your soul's been redeemed you're being transformed into the image of the king they want you veiled yeah. condemned in the dark but you received the spirit and it's written on your heart yes, yeah but thanks be to God man who always leads us in triumph in Christ manifest to us the sweet aroma of knowledge in him yeah for we are not like many we did not peddle the word of God but from this sincerity, but as from God, we speak in Christ in the sight of God. Yeah, we will reaffirm our love towards you. Yo, this is the heart of a minister. Renounce the hidden things because of the shame. It's sad, so I want to do this because of the fame. And they say that our message is veiled. That's because they've been blinded with the passions of hell. We hold this treasure in earth and well. So we could be crushed and not despair. We relate in the body with his death so that the life of Jesus may be Manifested in our flesh The pain on earth, yes, it brings out an urgency Not to be compared with our glory for eternity Don't get me wrong, I'm not boasting And I, I'd rather die And be in the presence of Adam and I But we are now as ambassadors on the earth Foreigners to this world Our embassy is the church Don't take in vain the grace of him who received us And do not be bound together with unbelievers Give them no reason to discredit your worth For what fellowship does the world have with the church Hold no grudge, we cannot Spread a rod if your soul leads to repentance, the glory to God. Yeah, man. For momentary light affliction is producing in us an eternal weight of glory, far beyond all comparison. For I say I prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body according to what he's done on earth. Whether good or bad, show ourselves approved. Let's go. I have comfort hearing of you when you're repenting, but let not these teachers hinder you when you give. Churches are eager to help in ways that are financial My prayer is that you would eagerly follow their example I boasted of your readiness for a year Get from your heart and not the pressure of your peers They say I'm bold and let her meek and face If I begin to boast, I boast in grace If they can boast, then I can boast in position If they can boast, then I can boast in tradition I can boast of my physical condition Stoned and beaten, but to God's glory, my affliction I can also begin to boast in the vision of glory a paradise that I saw yes, with precision But if I saw the vision God made a decision to put a thorn in my side But his grace is sufficient So if I'm on oppressive it's for the glory of the Lord Me being humble is the whole purpose of the thorn And if you want evidence of my power in the sun Next time I come I will not spare anyone Test yourselves to see if you are of the faith Cause the runner knows he's running If that runner's in the race Finally brothers be complete and like minded The love and peace of God will keep us united Before he said my Grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. And I'd rather boast about my weakness so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. I mean, whether in weakness, insult, distress, whatever, persecution, it doesn't matter. For when I am weak, he is strong. And I've become foolish, for yourselves compel me. Actually, I should have been committed by you. Yeah, I, I feel no need to commit myself. I just boast in the grace of God, for it is sufficient. That's all I gotta say, man. This is my heart upon a letter.